For nearly 40 years, Harrison has developed high-end mixing consoles for the professional audio industry. Staying ahead of the competition with new technologies has always been our strong point, starting in analog with the first in-line console, to digitally controlled, fully recallable analog boards, to enterprise-class digital consoles. Harrison continues to be the top choice for premier facilities around the world. Today we are introducing our next generation motion picture console, the MPC-5. Every desk is custom built to meet the needs of your facility. You choose the number of input strips, group faders, motorized joysticks, and master sections that you require. You can further configure the console with XTools plugins, an XDubber recorder, machine control, and dozens of other customizations. Let's investigate this beautiful new console going to Creative Sound in Paris. This console is configured for two users. The left side features 48 channel strips, while the right side features 16 channel strips. Each station also features eight group faders, PEC Direct switching, motorized touch sensitive joysticks, and two producer desks with articulated 27 inch monitor displays. Harrison's data management for multi-user setups is a highly refined concept that allows mixers to work quickly and share resources without conflicting. The TFT screens above the channel strips display detailed mix information. Our patented ESP waveforms represent material playing back on the console and can be driven by any input source. Adjustments to EQ, dynamics, panning, and busing are also visible. Because the MPC-5 is a console and not a controller, the aux sends are laid out sensibly on the screens. You can sweep your eye across the console to see which channels are sending to a reverb, for example. The MPC-5 features motorized, touch-sensitive faders on each channel. These faders use Harrison's highly refined circuitry designed specifically for discerning professionals. Layer switches allow each fader to control up to eight layers. These can be console channels, group faders, X-tool parameters, or DAW control faders. The layer switches also work as selectors when the console is in profile mode. Profile mode allows the user to lay out individual tracks and group masters anywhere on the console and switch between different setups instantly. Additionally, the user can designate a sweet spot which spills the currently selected group into a bank of faders. Harrison's object panning feature allows you to manage tracks as discrete objects placed around the room. I can drag select adjacent channels, like these at the front of the sound stage, and spill them into the surface without having to know which track or connected machine they are playing back on. Above the fader are the solo and mute buttons, and just below are Harrison's automation modes, read, write, whacked, which is a latching touch mode, and demand, which is a non-latching touch mode. Harrison's automation has been refined for decades to provide a fluidity that can't be matched. Unlike DAW point-and-click automation, our automation system evolved over decades of film mixing, starting with a linear, tape-based system. The resulting real-time automation techniques provide amazing features that, once mastered, make mixing a pleasure. Each channel has about 200 automatable parameters, so a large console may have about 100,000 of them. Rehearse your mix to get the sound you want and punch the All Auto button while rolling into a new scene to simultaneously write all 100,000 parameters. At the end of the scene, the parameters will ramp back to their previous settings. Clicking the hold button allows you to write those settings to the next marker point or to the end of time. Last minute picture cuts are becoming the norm in the final stages of film production. The MPC-5 can accommodate picture cuts using a change list of cut, copy, and paste events. You can enter the changes manually or load an industry standard EDL file and have the console make the edits for you. Collaborations with Soundmaster allow the user to apply an EDL to the console and multiple Pro Tools systems in a single step. A multi-function LCD switch displays the channel name and fader level. 
This control serves as the channel's attention button, which calls the channel settings to the central control screen and functions as the selector for copy, paste, and other operations. Every channel strip has 10 touch-sensitive dedicated knobs, which means you can punch in your automation changes effortlessly. Immediately above the fader section, you will find the pan knob. Harrison console panning is refined for film mixing. By defining the sound's position in a 3D space, you can generate multiple mixes simultaneously. In this example, we are mixing to a 5.1 mix, a stereo pair, and a mono mix. Joysticks help to speed this process further. The MPC-5's joysticks are touch sensitive and motorized, so it's easy to grab a joystick while it's moving and ride a new pass. The four knobs above the panner make up the EQ. Each pair of knobs controls the frequency and gain for a given band. The Q button allows the gain knob to control the bandwidth, and direct access switches allow you to reach bands 3 and 4, 5 and 6, and 7 and 8. Selecting a channel's EQ attention button will call a full-size display of the EQ to the ICUS screen. You can manipulate the curve using a mouse, just like a plugin. A full suite of controls appear on the screen for deep channel editing. These include the order of the signal flow through the channel, patch sends and returns, and delay settings. Every section has its own library button which allows the user to save and recall their favorite settings. In this example, I've created a telephone voice EQ setting and saved it with the name Tele. I can also save the entire channel to a library. The original MPC had an analog backend. When the backend was switched to digital, the mixers continued to use the same control surface, fully expecting it to sound exactly the same as the analog engine they were using previously. It was important to retain what they had learned about the sound. The engineers at Harrison made the digital engine sound exactly like the analog engine, a feat that no other company has been tasked to achieve. This is why a Harrison console EQ has become synonymous with excellent sound. Two knobs are provided for the gate and compressor, while adjacent buttons determine which parameters are assigned. Gate and compressor metering is shown on the screen using an innovative graphic. This simultaneously shows the compressor's input level, threshold, ratio, and gain reduction, plus the gate's input level, threshold, ratio, depth, and gain reduction. Two knobs allow direct access to two aux sends, and switches allow control for up to 32 aux sends. Eight of these auxes are shown on screen simultaneously. Their horizontal layout and color coding allow the user to quickly understand where the signal is being sent. The knob at the top is an input trim control, which can also be used to delay channels to bring them into alignment. Because the MPC-5 is a console, and not a generic controller, the knobs perform the same functions every day. This allows the user to generate muscle memory and play the surface like a musical instrument. At the top of the panel, there are input selections, output bus routing, and other channel status controls. Because each bank of eight faders has a complete master control panel, it is not necessary to move to the center of the console to adjust bus routings. Simply select the channel that you want to change and set up your routing. Let's take a look at the master section of the MPC-5. On this multi-operator console, there are two identical master sections. Each has eight remote group faders with layer switches that allow the user to access 48 groups. You can configure as many group faders as you would like. Group fader automation is highly refined for film workflow. To select faders for a group, touch the fader and the attention button, then sweep your finger over the channel attentions. Notice how the beveled buttons allow you to swipe across multiple channels very quickly. I can also assign channels to multiple group faders. In this case, I have eight channels of environmental sounds assigned to a group fader. 
I can assign four of those channels to another group fader, allowing me to adjust them independently of the larger overall group. Just above the group faders are the motorized touch-sensitive joysticks, a Harrison patented feature. These allow you to pan signals in any space from stereo all the way up to 20.1. They are also used for direct pan control of the Dolby Atmos RMU, allowing three-dimensional positioning of the signal anywhere in the 64-wide Atmos sound field. For this configuration, two joysticks were provided so two channels could be panned simultaneously. You can also configure one joystick to control position and the second to control height. The next panel features the PEC Direct monitoring and record controls, which feature multiple banks of stem selections. Stems can be linked arbitrarily or broken apart, giving you per track controls when you need it. PEC Direct setups have been completely re-engineered for the MPC-5. You simply define the panning location of each track on your recorder. This information flows backwards through the PEC Direct switches to make stem setup a breeze. You can even accommodate multi-channel DAW tracks that arm from a single record toggle. Stem and track management is one of the hardest jobs on the film stage, and the MPC-5 makes it fast and easy. The panel above the PEC Direct controls features multiple LCD smart switches. These give you access to global automation controls, multi-user profiles, and the time-saving macro functions. Each group of 16 buttons is identical, and you can choose as many banks as you need for your configuration. The very top section provides speaker selection and level controls. This console is configured for three sets of speakers, including Atmos, Surround, and Stereo configurations. Of course, a complete set of fold-downs is provided so you can listen to your mix in a variety of setups. The screen at the top of the master section features a waveform display of the master output and peak VU output meters. This allows you to review the waveforms that you've sent to the recorders as a visual quality control aid. Creative Sound's configuration features an integrated Soundmaster Atom with FurPad control. The final screen is the main control interface for our ICUS automation control platform. It is used for display and control of the numerous ICUS features. The features that we've covered here only scratch the surface of what is possible with the MPC-5. The MPC-5 provides all of the features needed for mixing to film. Great sound, stem management, DAW control, multi-user automation, and picture conforming. Our customization options make each console unique and purpose-built to meet your needs. The Harrison MPC has been the gold standard console for top facilities around the world for over 20 years and many original MPCs remain in use today because of Harrison's future-proof design. Our commitment to service and support ensures that the MPC-5 is the perfect long-term choice for your film mixing needs.